guys, we're at the uh, Frontier Arms booth. Good friend of Aussie Reviews, Chris Paps. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Yourself? <laughs> It's been a busy show, it definitely has. a busy show. And I know you guys have been very busy because like most of the uh, booze this year, I've had to get in before opening hours yeah. to actually get a chance to yeah. speak to people. And we appreciate that, mate. It's yeah. always good to have a chat. Absolutely. Mate, what I've decided to do, viewers, is we've got out um, the little uh, Walther PPK. I mean, this is just something really unique, really different. More for those of you out there with collector's licences, or definitely here in Queensland with your Category H licence for feral pest control or primary production. So, Chris, what can you tell me about the little uh, PPK? Yeah, well, the first thing about it, it's in 22 calibre. Yeah. Um, so it's been uh, out for probably the last uh, 12 to 18 months. Yep. Um, and 10 shot magazine drift adjustable sights, yep. um, but much like uh, when Walther brought out the Colt 22s, designed yep. for people that want to shoot a bit of rimfire and, and not have too much hassle with uh, centerfire ammo and cost factor. Yes. Um, and they can own something that uh, maybe someone uh, in a James Bond movie once, uh, yeah. once used. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, and it, and it feels like, when we were just looking at it um, uh, through the uh, glass here, you don't realise until you pick it up just how solid this little piece is. Like yeah. it's a solid little piece. Yeah, so, absolutely right. So you can see it's not it's not plastic. We've got the nice alloy and it, it's just nice, solid, fits in the hand really well. So uh, quite nice. And I, I see too when I was having a bit of a uh, play around off camera with it too, mate. It's double action, so yep. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And look, as as you know, it's uh, a short barrel, so it's not your general handgun license in Australia. Yeah. Um, but uh, a lot of collectors um, and uh, prime producers um, can get that exemption. Yep. Uh, so we're available in, in the black and also in the nickel version. Yep. And I see too, like just having a look there, we've got have we got the same um, muzzle thread as what we've got on like the uh, normal uh, Colt rail gun and so Correct. forth. That's that's rolled out. It's a similar uh, design with a fixed barrel. Yep. Um, and that's. Uh, allows you then to put compensators on the end yep. uh, and that's as you said the same as Colt 22s and the PPQ 22s yep. So really I mean I know up here with a lot of the um, non-club compliant uh, handguns we've had different uh, gun shops and that being able to comply by putting muzzle brakes or compensators as such on so yep. I mean uh, we'd have to work out the the technical details but that may even be an option with this. Absolutely and that, that so. gives that uh, that adaptability as required. Yeah, excellent. Okay, well, um, let's move on, if we can, mate, to the um, Walther Pro lights. And yep. um, I see you've got the whole Walther Pro series with regards to um, the knives and so forth. If yep. we can have a look at them, that would be great. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, exciting times. They were, were released uh, at EWA uh, in uh, March in Germany. Yep. And it's a whole new product line under the Walther Pro brand. Yep. So, They've got some high-performance uh, LEDs, um, and they've got a range of uh, your, your larger extreme series for um, for good general use and security use. Yep. Got a nice range of pocket lights. Um, they've got these little nano lights for your keyring. Yep. And they've got these great headlamps. Because I remember, like obviously, as most of viewers know, I've I've done the HL17 headlamp review, also the XL3000, and the last one, the PL70. Yep. And uh, you know, because I tried to get a good variety of what was available, and it's funny because you know we all remember if we've got the age about us of growing up with the old bag lights and the yeah. big bulky torches, and it was funny because once I did the reviewer there on the XL3000, the amount of people that said, you know what, I've been looking for an old-fashioned torch, a good yeah. club. Yeah. <laughs> so, and look you know, something yeah. nice and heavy. Yeah, and you, you know the weight, you, you felt it. Yeah. It, it, it is solid. Um, yeah. They've got great aluminium uh, housing. Yes. Um, the aircraft grade. Yep. Um, and they're using top end Cree LED chips. Yeah, um, yeah, no, very impressed with the yeah. light. It was uh, a very good light, mate. And what about uh, here? This is something I haven't had a chance to have a, much of a look at. I see that you've even gone into uh, gun care products now and, and knives and. Yeah, it's, it, as I said, it's exciting, and, and as I've said to you previously, Walth is a very innovative manufacturer. Yep. Uh, every year they're bringing out new products for the market and, and good quality gear. So this is new, they've got two styles of gun oil, yep. three in one, so they uh, lubricate, they've got a solvent and they're a rust inhibitor. Yes. Um, as I said, two greys, and they've also got a whole range of, uh, of knives, and they're using, again, great materials, they're using Swedish sandvik steel. Yes. And they're matching that with G10 grips. Um, oh, excellent. And they've, uh, they've got a, a, another whole range of, uh, of knives to come through, but um, they've now started. Um, yep. And look, you know, this is uh, a really well-responded show yes. yesterday. Um, yep. 
and uh, people are getting into it. And we might explain just uh, briefly to viewers too, like with uh, G10, like from other knife reviews that I've done, guys, like it's pretty much impervious to a lot of the elements. I mean, I'm sure you back me up on that one, Chris. It's a, it's a great um, material, very good. Doesn't show any wear, really. Um, Absolutely. Just a very, very strong material. So. Yeah. So uh, we're, we're excited to have some good uh, accessory lines. Yep. Um, and uh, they're well priced. Yeah, absolutely. But and if we can, uh, is there much new? Uh, some of the models I don't um, recognise here in your uh, in your air rifle line. What what's new here? Okay, the new one. Uh, this was released probably over the last twelve or so months. But in Australia, um, we released this this year. It's a PCP yep. air rifle, um, but they've matched it to uh, a Manelli stock, um, the Italian stocks, and it's got a beautiful uh, shape on the uh, on the butt stock. Yeah. Um, it says a PCP. It's an eight shot bolt action repeater. Yes. Um, Two thirty bar and cracking out uh, to about 985 feet a second. Um, yeah. Been very well uh, reviewed both here and in Europe. Um, yes. And I think it, it comes back to you know, quality gear, but again priced quite well. Yep. And what what's the sort of uh, street price people would be looking at? I mean, I know you guys have show prices, yeah. but the normal street price. Yeah. Look, you're probably looking about you know, eleven or twelve hundred dollars. Yep. Um, so it's well priced for that uh, that sort of kit, and and, uh, and again, yeah, they, they haven't even been reviewed in Australia. Um, yep. And we've had dealers, you know, reordering, reordering. So yeah. Um, we know it's going to be uh, a good. Yep, excellent. So, and um, anything yep. new and also in there? Yeah, in the spring guns, uh, ones that we uh, haven't seen since last time. In the LGV series, Wolf brought out an underlever. Yes. Um, as you know, back in about 2012, they brought out their uh, LGV uh, brake barrels. Yes. Um, and last year, the underlever came out. And again, you know, the, the concept is that uh, uh, a brake barrel may eventually um, give you some accuracy issues. Um, yep. That's, you know, the old school of thought. Yes. As we know, technology has changed that, but yep. we've still got people demanding an underlever. And, um, that's again been very well received in Australia. Yep. Okay. And I, I know that obviously Walther. I mean, they're very well known in the uh, the air pistol line and also you know target pistols. Yep. Uh, we've got some of them to look at. Yeah. Here. Look, we've got uh, some new uh, air pistols. So for your IWSF uh, matches. Uh, yep. We've got the whole uh, LP400 series, which has been around for a little while now. Yep. But what's nice is the new LP400 5D. And the 5D is all about the grip. Yes. And you'll see this silver panel on the side. Um, that gives you adjustment on the width. Right. Um, okay. And you still get your adjustability on the shelf. And obviously, you know, there's the cant factor as well. So it, it's all about getting the best connection between the human and uh, and the gun. Yep. And that extra panel, if you've got a, a slightly um, bigger hand, yep. some people go, yeah, I need that uh, adjustability. So that's new for this year. Yep. Um, in the 22s, the SSP has been around for almost 10 years, which is this grey one here. Yes. Um, and then the electronic version has uh, been rolled out fairly recently, which is the silver one with the walnut grip. Yep. Um, and the concept of the electronic trigger, um, it's about um, maintaining exact settings uh, for your trigger. Obviously, all the mechanics uh, is eliminated and wear and tears eliminated. Yes. And it's a very, very smooth, smooth trigger. Yeah. Um, and we find they've been rolling these out um, in the 22 versions. Um, a lot of the Walther Air Rifles are now coming out with electronic triggers as well. Yep. And and the technology compared to an electronic trigger, say 20 or 30 years ago, yes. as with everything, it has yep. evolved um, and it's now robust and, and reliable. Yes. And what about price points made on these with yeah. uh, what people are looking at paying, you know, street price? Yeah, look, in your SSPE, you, you're around about you know, 32, 3300. Yep. Um, for the standard mechanical, you're around about 27, 2800. Yeah. Um, and what, what I love about Walther is, you know, you, you've got the GSPs, um, which have been around for 40 or 50 years. Yeah. They're still brand new, um, and they're probably in every pistol club in the country. Yeah. Um, and so that's still a, a current model. And I mean, this is really, you know, for you guys at home, like this is, you know, this is serious competition, yep. you know, stuff, isn't it? I mean, and that's the thing, there's the funny thing in the shooting world is we've got some people who enjoy just a bit of a plink at the range, but then, you know, we've got the serious competition shooters, and, you know, this is the sort of gear that they'd naturally be looking at. Well, and look, it's used at World Cups, it's used at yeah. Olympics, um, and I think I've said to you before, what I love about our industry yeah. uh, is you can buy, as a consumer, 
in Australia the same products that's being used at that level. Yeah. You, know, you can't buy a Formula One car readily. No, that's um, right. It's but you can you can get you know what the gold medalists are winning. You can own that. Uh, yeah. It's the same game. Um, yep. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's 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 quite exciting. No, that's great. All right, guys. Well, look, that's what's new at the uh, Frontier Arms booth this year. So uh, you know, if you haven't been able to get down to uh, the show and see it all, I'll put the link like I normally do underneath this review, and you can check out their full range in your own time, mate. Till next year. Thanks very much for your time. Thanks.